been feeling um, about everything that's going on so far this year. Um, I have felt a shift in my spirit these past two weeks and um, the shift feels a lot more heavier and a lot more urgent than previously um, I had felt before um, when the virus hit and everything started um, gaining momentum. And I just want to say that, um, you know, I feel like time is running out and that we truly are living in the end days and um, that I'd rather believe that there's a heaven and a hell than not believe and then end up in hell and not be able to change my mind because in hell you do not have free choice or free will to choose where you want to be. Once you're in hell, it's for eternity. Same thing with heaven. Once you're in heaven, you're there for eternity. So I'd rather believe that Jesus died for all of our sins on the cross and that he rose from the dead on the third day and not believe and not be able to change my mind later on because it'll be too late um and not even that i do believe because he came to me in a vision in february of this year 2020 which i discuss on the first video on this channel about my visitation and it changed my life and ever since then i've been reading the new testament and I look back at the Old Testament because I've read the Old Testament, but I never read the new one. And there's so many, so many similarities and so many connections that it, it makes sense. It is the continuation of, of the Old Testament. And so um, I've been piecing things together here and there ever since my visitation in February from Jesus. And yes, I have concluded that. Um, there will be a rapture, and I don't think that will be here by the end of this year, or at least not the next. We won't be able to see next year. I don't even see us getting that far. Um, you may have heard about the Feast of Trumpets as well, um, the holiday of Rosh Hashanah, which is usually September 18th through the 20th, around there. And um, that's a high watch time for the rapture. And I'm not saying that it's going to happen that day, but you know, people are starting to feel in their spirit that time is running out. Let's just say that. And um, it, once again, it's not about religion. It's not about Christianity. It's about having that personal relationship with God. So many people have too much pride or ignorance to even accept God into their lives. They, People need to understand that they need to humble themselves before God because God is our creator um, and we are his children. And we can't take on all the pressures of the world and control our lives the, thing, the way that we think we can. Only God can do that for you. So if you think that you have to go to church, uh, that you can, cannot commit sin ever again, that you have to be super perfect in order to get to heaven, that, those are all lies. Literally, those are lies. The gospel is plain and simple. Believe in Jesus Christ. Believe that he rose from the dead on the third day, that he died on the cross for our sins, and repent of your sins. Even the ones that you commit daily and that you will continue to commit daily, even after you repent of them that day, whichever day that you repent, you're going to keep committing them because we're humans and we're imperfect and we're going to fall short of, of God because we live in a fallen world with fallen angels. And... There's demons all around us all the time trying to instill fear in us and make us feel insecure. And that is not the spirit of God. That is the spirit of the devil. So whenever you have doubts and whenever you feel like you're not good enough to even get to heaven, so what's the point of even having a relationship with God? That's the devil trying to take you down. So believe, believe in God, believe in Jesus, because it is literally a, tr a free gift of salvation. That's it. All you have to do is believe. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be baptized in holy water or whatever they say. Like, I mean, everything's so twisted now nowadays. The religions are so infiltrated by this demonic spirit. Like, just read the Bible. It's plain and simple. And anyway, enough of me preaching. But um, I just feel like things are happening at a really, really fast rate now. And um, I just read online that there was two bombs that... Um, that happened in the Catholic Church uh, in the Philippines today. You know, there's more explosions happening. The Beirut explosion, it, 
within that same week of the Beirut explosion, there was like three more explosions, you know, and, um, you know, the whole state of California is on fire. I mean, it started in the North, uh, North California, now it's spreading everywhere else. There's mass evacuations going on. There's two hurricanes that are going to hit Texas and Louisiana and all those states near there. I mean, it's the f- almost, I think it's the first time anyone has seen two hurricanes happening at once, like coming together like that. I mean, this year, like every month, things are happening even faster and faster. Just ask yourself, are you feeling the urgency in your spirit? Are you feeling like God is trying to talk to you? Have you ignored the knocking on the door for so long because of pride and or ignorance or or maybe you feel shame ashamed of things that you've done or sad or like you can't like things won't ever be the same and and God will judge you don't feel that way he's knocking on the door for a reason answer the door get on the ark before it's too late Ask yourself these questions. Humble yourself before God. Time is running out. Stay safe and stay blessed. See you next time.